Welcome to Bottom Line Sports Talk. I'm George Abram. You know my partner, Albert Campman. Albert, a little March Madness talk. We're going to talk NCAA tournament. We've had a round to digest, and we're going to talk about that in detail. But let me say this. Cray, cray, cray. Crazy. But yeah, and, that, and that's, it goes right with the year, goes with the COVID, goes with everything going. So it's par for the course. It's exactly par for the course. All and, right. And George has called me many times during this tournament, first, first two uh, rounds leading into the Sweet 16, and talked about how players do, do not get the end of the game. There's so many end-of-game mistakes being I'm, made. My head hurts. We, See, now you know you're making my head hurt. Yeah. I, they have to bounce that ball. Over and over. Till the last... Then they're going to do this Dame Time nonsense. <laughs> and I can tell you right now, I saw five games over the weekend, one with a putback or a foul, but they don't give them a chance because they pound the ball. It's too late. Them. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're, yeah. Seeing, you're seeing Yeah, yeah that's thing. our thought. That's our number one thought in this tournament. Uh, we come in that the lo- they, they should be attacking the rim with eight seconds. F- uh, people like to move out of the way. Instead, they'll do a step back three at the buzzer. If it goes in, I want to be the hero. I want to be hero ball. Here. Yeah. Here, they hold a shirt on. But most times they miss it. No. And then they, they lay on the floor like they, no, they should have shot the ball no. with five or six and five let's, seconds. Let's go back there, too. Let's talk about when they only need two. Yeah, that's what I'm talking now about. I, no, now I'm really crazy. Oh, they don't never shoot two anymore. They run to the corner. It happened last night twice in two games lost. They could have shot an easy shot from the baseline 15 feet away. They ran to the deep corner and shot a three and missed, missed both of them. Let's talk about it. Look, the re- obviously, the coaches are letting it go, so we have to start there. What, did he think it looks cooler or something? Or are they trying? The players to, try to look, think it's cool. They're imitating Lillard. Yeah, that's his move. And he's not. They're not Lillard. You oh, understand? Jesus. Yeah, that's oh, what I'm saying. No, no. And they're not Lillard. Oh, so that's that's. Uh, the, uh, amen to that. The guy's ridiculous. I know, but that's what they that's what they see. So my yeah. grandson see it. What are you oh. talking about? They're they're fifth graders trying they're to be not, Lillard. Oh, so, but the coaches allow it to go. But here's why they allow it to go. They will not get the next great player if they don't. You know that the idea is is recruiting, and if a, if a, a guy's watching the, watching his team, he's thinking about going, and the coach tells him not to shoot that shot from the corner. Yeah, okay. He's not going to the game. Let's he's not going to that school. Let's talk about that. Let's tie recruiting in, and then we'll jump back to the tournament. The things you have to put up with to get the next guy. So it's a runaway freight train. A guy called me yesterday. It's a runaway freight train. He said something yesterday. One of my buddies. And I said, I'm going to tell you what's going on there. I said, that's for recruiting. I said, I used to watch a Michigan football coach do it all the time. He was a run-heavy ground chuck uh-huh. guy, but he would throw it enough. And then when he got ahead, he really liked uh-huh. to throw it to balance those numbers out. Right. So when young Greasy was looking, he says, hey, Brian, we passed 50-50. Right. Yeah. And, and today, that would be 70-30. Yeah, but we, we were talking about how the kids respond on the court. Yeah. And they're going to play free and easy on every team. Shot selection is going to be minimal. They're going to, they're going to be they're going to, they're, and and you got to you got to live with the bad shots with the great players, because they think it's they think it's a good. They've been taking it since fourth grade. They think it's a good shot, and you're not. We said it again. You're not getting the best player if you don't let them take some bad shots. And so the coaches let them do it, George. And I I wrote something down. I found I thought it was tremendous. You dribble to score, not to explore. Oh geez. And, and well, that's so, a, that's gone. That's all they do is explore. They're down. Th- they're through their legs forty times. No. As four guys stand and watch. So you're them. making my head hurt because you just hit it. The four guys are. If they were even crisscrossing, doing something right. If they were even stacking and popping out uh-huh. just to get some movement. Right. No, they're gonna make. They're going one on one. And that's passed down from from all the way down from from the NBA to to the junior high. That's so what, you that's see what, it at the little that's guy what, games. That's what, that's where the basketball you, is. Playing. I don't know how you watch them. What. Well, this I is my grandkids you, play. But that's I mean, why. It, you have to want to run down there. Yeah, I do. I do. I've talked to them after the game about it. That's for sure. Well, not just them, though. But that's all I watch. Yeah. I don't want. Yeah. I mean, you understand? Yeah, I don't want. Yeah, 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 I get you. Yeah, I, yeah. I really don't. Okay. I don't. Whatever watch, happens to the other guys. Junk. I, I, get it. I, don't, I don't care well, what they do. Let's talk about it. Ten seconds in the shot clock. They're going to give the ball to whomever. And he's going to start that pounding nonsense. Then at about four, he's going to dribble in. Then he's going to jump back. And, and if ball. he tap taps, he travels, but that's out the window. And he's going to shoot the ball. And yes. if the war, it were to miss, there's not enough time left. Yes, exactly. Now, the other night, somebody shot early, and now Florida. Houston. Yeah, Houston could have won in the game because of it. They're out of the tournament. Uh, 
the other on a on a putback the other day they they had an and one. Yeah, that's the way it goes. And talking about somebody who plays the game the right way, that leads into our Sweet Sixteen. That's Loyola and uh, great offensive movement, different different cuts on every every pass, playing from the high post um, with Cameron Crutwig, who's, who looks like well, looks like he's sixty years old, but they play that way and. Uh, um, they're talking about that the the coach getting a Porter Moser getting no, a job no. in another school. No, see, I'm saying they don't understand. Porter, Porter. stay where you're at, you please. Be line. Yeah, see, but he, he understand he's going to go to us, and they're going to yep. say, Coach, you're saying we're supposed to pass it five times before he's sure. We're not doing. That. <laughs> we're not doing that. No. I'm telling, we're not doing that. That's what happened. Patino <laughs> went to the Knicks. He said, "We're going to full court press." <laughs> they looked at him and said, "What? They, no, we're not." Uh, real quick, on Leo, let's talk. We have some people that don't know the game or didn't put 70 years in it yes. like we have. Talk about being defensive, getting after people. He had that Illinois team so confused with doubling that pick and roll. Yeah, he's one of the few and doing doesn't. things that you just don't see. Yeah, one of the things that uh, you don't see too often, everybody plays scared on the pick and roll, so they hedge everything. He double teamed it and, and brought his little guy over to front, that big guy. It looked easy. But when you're double teamed the pass, the pass is hard to make in there. Uh, Loyola, watch them play. They're one of the few teams that blitzes the uh, pick and roll with you two think guys. They blitz? Yeah, I know they do. Talk, whatever their code word yeah, is. Yeah, like they're, they're calling fire something. or something. Yeah, they're calling something for and sure. The other guys know to rotate, rotate the move such that. I, I watched the game the other day. It really upset me. High school state playoff. Running at the dribbler with a second guy. Okay. Without a rotation. Right. So he did everything wrong. He jumped in the air in the backcourt. Right. He threw it to the guy who left. Yeah, exactly. Was no, it's, don't don't do worth, it. It's not worth anything. Don't do it. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not worth a thing. And 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 the, the, the add on to the Loyola great run into the Sweet Sixteen is Sister Jean's back. For you people, you if you don't know, put YouTube on. Follow Sister Jean. Oh uh, wait. <laughs> She's 101. She's at the game with a personality of a 30 year old. George, you were telling me a story about yeah, the. Father. We were between uh, shows that I was telling him that I, I saw her the other day and she was talking and they said, well, she said, oh, she said, I'm busy. She said, I got a lot to do. <laughs> they said, well, what do you got? She said, well, first of all, I have to text all the boys. She said, then I have to, you know, get the prayer ready. But when I said them the prayer, I also said the game plan. <laughs> I just couldn't take it. She sends them the game plan. I love it. So, so sister, those sister guys, Jean and, I got goosebumps. They have to love oh, no. it. Porter Moser, Sister Jean, and Loyola, and and the big guy. What a story Loyola Let's is. Let's talk about Porter Moser for a minute, though, because he's, he's the celebrity right now. He should be. But, Al, they're danger ahead. If he goes to one of those one-and-done places, oh, yeah. I know. they'll chew him up like beeline to calves. Yeah. We, we said, if you remember and you watched our show, we thought Beeline one of the greatest. Yeah, he is a great ever. coach. And we said, "What's John, he doing?" Because I had a best friend that was his very good friend, uh -huh. but he passed away, and I'd have told him. I said, "Talk him out of it." Yeah, went to the Cavs, and the Cavs they, they were saying, "Wait a minute, you want us to work on a mic and drill? What? <laughs> you working? <laughs> you want us to work on a fundamental?" They ate him up. Yeah, so it's a, it's a shame, now, but that's true. Let's look at Loyola, the last team, eighteen in this one. The big boy was there, Kurt Wig. He was younger. Yesterday, he had a play at a pick and roll. See, they look, they see the mustache and the thickness. Mm -hmm. Don't think he can't play. They had a pick and roll yesterday, and the guy didn't make the pass right. He tapped, tapped it, in, it yeah. in. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. I see Billy Owens do that. Yeah, yeah, he's just he's a talented, skilled player that made himself uh, a, a really good player by spending time in the gym. And he's always had a big body. He can put it on people. And uh, Are there metrics? Can they? I, I think they can win again. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure they can. They beat Illinois. <laughs> They're not playing any team better than Illinois. So they... I heard a guy say something <laughs> yesterday. He said it. One of these basketball guys, like Pomeroy, one of these guys, you know, said, you know, he said he felt sorry for the Illinois coach. He thought he got bamboozled. Huh? bamboozled. <laughs> Let's talk Arkansas. I like them for two reasons. One, there's something about the Musselmans uh -huh. that goes back to the old man getting blackballed at Minnesota. Right. This guy was at Nevada, did it with all transfers. There's something about him that uh, I kind of pull for him. And I'm not, I don't have a team. Right. Yeah. The, the, mus the muscles, Musclemans always have danced on the line. They don't care what you think. And this one fits the same bill. I, I met him at Arizona State. 
He's yeah. gonna he's gonna recruit. But you like them? No, I, I like him, but I know what he's gonna do. He don't. He, he's gonna win. He, he's gonna find some way to win. He, like he, right. there was eight players in Arkansas. He came here. Guess what he did with them? Ran them out. He said, Jettison. "I don't want, I don't want you." I don't, now see, that's not normal coaching. That yeah. usually. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm winning with the guys I want to. So he started bringing transfers in, Juco's in, anybody can, because he wants to do one thing. Do you think about Nolan Richardson every time you see Arkansas? Oh, I love Nolan. He's, my, he's, he's he one of my favorite. He was one of our favorites. Yeah, one of mine, for now, sure. Now, tell the story about Nolan Richardson riding in the car, and Larry Bird's game was on the radio. Yeah, he's listening to the game. And remember, he, Bird he must have been killed. He, Bird's in the end of the state. He doesn't know who Bird is. And Bird hits a jumper. Man, that, that Bird, I hear his name a lot. Block shot by Bird. Man, that brother must be able to jump. Man, a lot. Still gonna beat this he, brother. He goes. Hey, ladies, I, I have never heard a brother's name on the. He sees and he meets Bird. Big he's country Bird, boy. Big country boy, white guy. He has yeah. It was, that, that was that uh, was really funny. It, yeah. He tells the story. It's funny. Yeah, yeah. He tells the story. Man, that I get surprised. But so doing it with transfers, I would say locally, that's Pitt's only hope. It is their only hope. He can't recruit. And I don't think Pitt will allow him to do that. I don't. I don't think Pitt will okay. allow him to do that. Okay. See, Arkansas is famous. <laughs> okay. That's why he took the job. I get See, it. I'll give him credit. He would not take a job unless they said to him, "You can bring anybody you want in, laws you win." So, and Musselman, the Musselman family can really coach. I'm talking about basketball family deluxe. Oh, I. Any time I could have got. Wait. Now, by the way, the dad goes back. You Ohio State people now. You have to be an old timer. But it goes back to that brawl where the guy went to help him. Luke Whitty, yeah, I know. And he kicked him. Brewer and Wookiee, yeah, it was crazy, yes. I think Whitfield. He did, Dave he was Whitfield on that team. Dave was on that team. But anyhow, the Smith kid's playing a bigger role than he. A lot of transfers in this tournament. Oral Roberts also. Yeah, well, I understand Oral Roberts. That's the only way they can win. Okay. And that's the only way they have a chance. But Arkansas has won with players before they recruited. Must have mm. said, I don't want to do it that way. Well, you know, in Indianapolis, in Indiana, they're, 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 they're big Hoosier fans. Yeah. One of the players that played there. Yeah. You know, his, his name's Smith. He's not playing for Arkansas. That is that is killing them. Justin Smith, that we lost the player from there. One of the reasons Arch is gone. Yeah. You know, you're, many. Yeah, if you're going uh, to. Baylor, best pressure D in the tournament? No question. Okay. Yeah. It's a great matchup down the road if they beat Gonzaga. They had a little COVID, COVID lull. They did. That they appear to have come out of. Yeah, they, they really did. And uh, when you don't practice, guys, I don't care who you are. If, you, if there's any coach watching, you know how that is. 41% from three people, that is ridiculous. So what happened, their shooting went down when they, when they had the COVID and they came back. They, shoot, they weren't shooting the ball as well. Their defensive pressure, they had forgot. What, so they had finally got a chance to practice. Mm -hmm. And you see Coach Drew has, hey, let me has, ask you, has done it. Did you expect them to wait? Wisconsin's one of those, they'll stick around teams. No, you, that's the team you don't want to play. That's what I yeah, said. Yeah, no, Wisconsin. And I turned it, it was a dozen, and it was a dozen. Because they got better players than you think they do. See, oh, you, absolutely. You don't you know, beat Carolina you, like that. You no, know what I'm saying? No. No, Wisconsin's really good. No, you, you nailed it. So that's it. a really good win for Baylor. You win by, you win by no, double no, figures no, against Wisconsin. No, and it never, I turned it on thinking, you know, they're going to make a run. Right. The only thing they did was run me out of the under. <laughs> that's all they did. Fouling down 12 with a minute. But they have five guys going to shoot the three. And, yeah. you, you know, that's what you want. I think that's the way to recruit these days. Get guys to play hard defensively and then and allow them to shoot the three uh, or play inside out. George and I believe in playing inside out. Yeah. That's why Loyola does it. Yeah. Uh, there's a, there's a couple other teams that do it, no question. Okay, let's talk Syracuse. One thing comes to mind, 2-3 zone, and, of course, Buddy Beheim. He's killing it. He's not playing his way into the G League. Or... No. You know, he's he, he might a, get a, he's a college player. Yeah, he's a college player. Okay, let's <laughs> talk about, first of all, the Bobby, let's put it this way. I, I, when I see him play, I think, okay. I think the defensive side, he okay. can't. Let's he plays all zone. It. I understand. Let's talk about the 2-3 zone. What it does when you haven't seen it, you don't even in practice, the JVs aren't as long, then you play in an empty arena. Yeah, the first thing, don't call it a 2-3 zone because he, he, they're never in it. They are never in it. They're, More like a 3-3. Three, three. Yes, exactly. <laughs> they put four across the top at <coughs> the start, they have one in the back. All right. Uh, you know, you can practice all you want. West Virginia had a tremendous game plan for it. Mm. But as soon as they got the ball and they went to shoot, there was, a, there was two hands above the rim. You, you know, there's so, as George said, they caused so much trouble in the tournament because you got two days, you got about two or three days to practice. Before. Last team in, by the way. Yes. And let's talk about that because I thought I watched San Diego State in uh, their tournament, and I thought, no, they're very good. Move the ball. No, they're very good. I thought they could. They had eighteen. And there was no chance Albert, for them. You can't win with eighteen and No, and uh, and don't think the coach <laughs> didn't practice on offense. It's just not the same out there. You know, I don't, when you're playing against Syracuse. 
they look like they like George we, said. We have a they buddy, play with six guys. We have a buddy who's a D one coach with that. I say stuff to him like, "Why don't they?" Whatever. Uh -huh. And he says, "Coach, he says you don't realize how long and that's it. it yes, be. long's the word. Long. Yeah. He's, he and he talks about <clears throat> on the the press when somebody's on the ball in the press. Mm -hmm. You don't have anywhere to throw the ball because they're so so big. And you don't, you know unless you're down on the floor, even a slip rock. You know a slip rock game or a YSU game. You don't realize how big mm -hmm. and long they that's are, they and, and then make it even more of a Syracuse." Because he is the best recruiter in the country with regards to his own talent. He knows exactly what he's looking for. And people don't, people don't say that enough, George. They always talk X and O's. No. They always talk relationships. Yep. Yep. Hey, the game is won with the players you get. Jimmy and Bayhan can recruit. Yep. Bayhan can recruit. And let's, if there's a type, it's that long, lean type that can – but what can he they do? Can shoot it. Shoot. Yeah, he, he looks for that player. And, you know, there's probably 15 come out of, out of the seniors every year. He's getting three of them. He's got three long ones who can shoot. Yeah. It's, it's, that's that's what my buddy, I used to get after him. I'd say, you, your guys can't shoot. He'd say, coach, if they could shoot, they wouldn't come here. <laughs> it's the truth. That was his favorite. That's the truth. Good Let's point. Let's talk Earl Roberts because they have a star. Yeah, they do. Max Abmus is, is the league scorer in the country. Can go off the dribble like anybody in this tournament. And if you've got somebody go off the dribble and the other guy spot up around the three, they're a hard team to mess with. Uh, and nobody will do what I said. See, George, I've watched, it, I've watched both of them. I'd, have, I'd play a box on one him from the time the game started, and Or Roberts would end up with You're not two. letting Abrams kill you for no, 30. They have, no, he gets, no he, gets, he gets 35 yeah. and gets the rest of them 35. Yeah. So if he's 70 points worth in that thing. You can, you can but find a not, way. There's not one college Rick guy. Rick is dead. They're not, there's he not, would have done it. It's like they, they're blind. Let's, oh, we got to play man-to-man. -man. That's the only thing we play. We and so he just keeps going right through them. <laughs> Didn't that guy tell you that the other day? <laughs> yes. We don't do anything else. Syracuse beats them every year, so we don't do anything else. Well, I said, I walked out of the room. I said, that means you're going to lose again. Same thing I'm watching all Roberts. Play a ball flow on that kid. Do and, something. And, and take him out now, of the game. Now, that takes us to Jay Wright because it's exactly what you're talking about. He's the best of the country Jay right Jay Wright, now. let's say, red shirting, building him in the weight room. The best. And then game time. I watched last night. Was he man-to-man? -man? Some. Was he in the matchup? Yeah. Some. Yeah. Will he change? Yes. Wow, what a, what a lead-in by George there. He's the best coach in the country now um, because of his adaptation of what's going on. George, George led in with the greatest thing. He wants kids that are super strong that can back their way into the, into the hope. He red shirts everybody. Unless you're some sensational freshman. Like, like he has one. He has one right now. Yeah. They red shirt and, get so, and they, put, they put 25 pounds how of muscle on the guards in the post? And does it all the time. He figured it out to say, listen, I can't get a, I can't get a postman that does that. So I'll use my guards as the – so if you want to come double team me, I'll back in forever, and then I'll kick it. Yeah, he really is ahead of the game. Easy. It's too yeah, easy. He has a plan B for everything. I, those guys just have plan Let's A. Let's take our hat off to him for having a plan B and willing to use it. No, we only play man to man yes. here at the U. Okay, well you're going out. George is a man to man coach completely. Yeah. Completely. I go to the playoff game. He's in a two three zone. He said. Yeah. I said after the game. He said we couldn't guard the point guard. I had to go something different. I had to get out. Well, that's great coach. I want to win. <laughs> yes, that's great coach. We could say George could say no. We play nothing but man. But and we he lost. He had thirty five. Because <laughs> yes. he had thirty five. You never stayed in front and of him. He dumped off fifty. <laughs> now let's talk about Houston because they have the defense field goal percentage against that you want, and they're tough. You know, they, play, they, play, they play like serious hombres. That's all I can say. That's they, my coach's favorite <laughs> that's, word. Yeah. When that ball goes up on the board, they think that's theirs. They, Michigan State used to rebound like that. Now it's Houston. Um, I hate the word program. I like the word culture. They practice like every day, that every day. And that's what their best player said. You think it's funny how we, why we play like that? Mm -hmm. When we're running sprints, every he said. Film every film session. Every, every, fr every sprint. Is every guy on the team's running to beat the other Absolutely. guy? Absolutely. You know, and, and one more thing too, we have to talk about that. We both struggle with running everyone back on the old board, and they go to the no, old board. No, that's right. why they win. I'm serious. Why wouldn't somebody they watch them? They won yesterday. They had no chance. They miss every first shot. When they, the, when you get a second one or third one, you got a chance to win. They were outplayed the whole game, but they never stopped rebounding the ball because that's what they do at practice every day. Coaches, what do you want? Is what you'll get. What you demand is what yeah, you're going to get. Yeah. That's the way it works. Uh, Oregon State. You know, well, I'm, that's a surprise to me. Let me say they're this. the ones. But I have to say this: when I see an older coach with white hair or a little bit of a belly, <laughs> I root for him because I know he came up the hard way 
And coincidentally, what does he do? He plays inside out. Yeah, old Wayne Tinkle's been around forever. Been yeah. little schools, nice been out, job, out there. Wayne. Yeah, so and uh, and Oregon State is not the powerhouse. They met one time, a long time ago, George. Yeah. Um, when they had Gary Payton, that's a long time ago. They 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 would get some great players. They were ten and ten in their league, but they truly they weren't in without the win. No, that's okay. right. Without the winning the tournament, they were not in. So they're in. They there. win the tournament. They're on the run. And how many teams you've seen who won a tournament get on the run? They beat a really good. I mean a really good Oklahoma State team. But they so, made Tennessee look like they were Oh, no, dangerous. that's what I'm saying. They, if, there, if there's a team right now that they're going to say, I don't know if they can do it again, why can't they do it? They beat two excellent teams into oh. a pulp. They oh, both of them. Oh, no. I don't want to play. No. Hey, remember when Obama's uh, they beat what, Oregon. His Oregon. brother-in-law was Oregon there. Oregon destroyed Iowa. You know that? Huh? When, remember when Obama's... Brother in law, oh, Robinson, they couldn't yeah, win no. the game. I know, they didn't win then. I know Listen, they didn't. But here's the team we got to talk about. We got about eight minutes. Gonzaga. Well, that's the best team. I mean, there's no question about it. They'll have to play a game that they're not used to because they put up 80 or 90. You got to, you got to score with them. They, their pace is immense. Uh, they, they score like North Carolina used Albert to score. Albert told me something interesting, I have to tell you. I put a few shillings on them way back when on FanDuel. And Albert gave me a little uh, pointer. I said, you know, Al, I don't know. I said, uh, you know, it bothers me because that, they, they haven't won it yet. And he says to me, he says, yeah, he said, but this is the first time they were the best yeah, team. They Talk the best about team. that. Yeah, no, it's the truth. Can't lead in. They are. They're their best team. And there's no way in the country can say that this team's better. This team. Let's talk about what it's, you have it's to do. Uh, many scores. Many. First round picks. And if you lay it in and don't run back, it's a dump. Oh no, they're the the and, and they play defense. And they play and they play eight, nine guys. I wanted to get to that. Rim protection. Yeah. Most times guys drive down there. It's it's not oh, getting no. to the board. No, they'll throw that ball out of there too. They'll smack it. But in today's world and everything every sport, and every I would never say that before when I was growing up. I always thought defense won. Not anymore. It's I, I think it's offense. It's I think changed. offense wins in all sports and no one can score like Gonzaga. You leave anybody open, and, and they finally got a, a big time, a, a lottery point guard in Suggs. You know, they usually don't have that. They usually have good now, players. Suggs is a pro? Lottery pro, yes. Oh, how about Freshman. Kispert and Tim? Are, are Kispert's the best shooter. He's the best shooter, is what he can play. He's, He's like Harris. He's him. like Harris oh, from uh, Harris. Virginia. Me, no, no, let me tell you. And they got the, the Timmy kid in Suggs. Timmy get a chance to watch the Nets. Watch what happens when Joe Harris gets You think it's in? If, he no, miss, no, it's, if he's missing, you no, forgot. It's a you, prize. You think, I remember one time I was in one of your games. He had a really good player. A the ball really would good. just hang on there. It yeah, really, really good. Yeah, but <laughs> halftime, he had like 11 for 12. 22 points at halftime. And his dad comes over to me, goes, George, he said, what happened on that one shot? I said, get out of here. I said, get out of here. Well, that's what these got. That's these got. Nobody has shooter. What, when they shoot, you, think you know what him? I think. I think it's going in. Yeah, that's Gonzaga. So, um, so, you're, so we are we are here. Both of us picking Gonzaga to win it. We never we're not favorite pickers. Never. But both of us see them play and think, who's beating them? And you know, a lot of the competition's been knocked they are, out. They're out. It's the truth. You mean Illinois people, was definitely a they, they big thought that, they thought that was a team. Yeah. Other people thought that was a team that was going to beat them. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. Michigan. Mm -hmm. The problem without livers. Yeah. Can they do it without, without well, then, When you have injuries, there's no guarantee you're, you're moving on. And uh, uh, when you have a guy that runs the show for you and's hurt, now you're really, now you're, now you're really grabbing So they you. can win. If, he's, if there's ever any kind of a tape job, or, it's a stress fracture. It's not yeah, a I don't think he's coming back. No, I'll, be, I'll, be, no. I'll be surprised he comes back. Now, can they win without him? That's no, my question. No, they cannot win without him. Uh, they, they can win some games, but they can't win at all. They cannot win at all. No. Let's and, talk about Juwan Howard a little bit because I'll be the first guy to say, when I see a former player, mm -hmm. I kill him. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I kill him. Yeah, you got to give the guy credit that he came in and was prepared. He had a high school, he had a high school coach friend. That's, that, okay. that, I think that was, that was there. That he mentored him all the way through. He would call him every day. The, the, guy, the guy passed away. It killed, killed him. But he talked to him every day about the fundamentals of basketball. And the high school coach said, Here's, don't, don't change that at all. Let's talk about that because he comes in with the Fab Five, comes in with all that hoopla, the sneakers, the long pants, mm -hmm. the look at me, look at me, look at me. And Bob Knight will proudly say they never won it. 
Yeah, and he's the one that wasn't. And so that's, that's the best part of it. He's the one who recruited the other four guys to get them there. He's the one guy that did not, did not live that like the rest of the other four. So he's a basketball guy. And when you, talk, when you, when you mention Howard, he stayed in the NBA 15 years, and he was never the best player. Absolutely. You know, he, because they loved having him on the bench. Absolutely. And he was always there at practice first. He, got, he was really a coach learning this craft as a player. You have, you have to root for him. And then, and then and secondly, he has the rings that he can recruit players. So you got that. Michigan could be dynamite for years. A good coach. I have plus. a feeling that he's building a dynasty yeah, much like the Ohio State football I coach see the same day. thing happen. I, I see, see the same it, thing. And I don't see anything. Now let's talk. And let's, we only have a few minutes, but let's talk a minute about how wise he is going to get Phil Martelli. Yeah. And, that, and that, that's, that's what you do. Old school when you're, when, you're, when you're a really good coach and you say, what do I need working? Maybe defense rotations. I'm going to get, I'm going to get Phil Martelli. Defense rotations is an attacking zone. Has there ever been anybody attack a zone better than Phil Martelli? No, John Chaney was a legend. He passed. Yes. Obviously. What a great coach. Yeah. He played two, three zone matchup. But they're not, they're, they're, uh, there's more to them than putting five chairs out there. Right. But the bottom line is, Martelli would have him play a man to man by second half. <laughs> he was. He oh, was the guy. Tell you? Yeah. And Jamie Dixon did the same to Bayon. Yeah, he would. He would. He would light that two three zone up with things that nobody else was doing. Yeah. You know, if you're confident, coach. Yeah. You go and get people around you that are going to help you win, and that's what he did with. Not your ego. In other words, we talk about this when we used to go help some high school coaches and such. You have to have such a big ego that you don't have an ego. Yes. Because you'll bring Al in and say. I'll put that matchup zone in. I don't understand it well enough. Yeah, it's because you know you have enough confidence in yourself. You're not working, in, and then your kids believe in you totally because you have enough confidence in yourself. And that's what's happening in Michigan. I've never seen. I thought I thought they'd take a drop off on beeline left. I really did, and instead they're better. They're, yeah. they're, they're better. We have one more team to look at before we give an overall. The Oregon Ducks. They come in. They're playing Iowa. They're an underdog. And people are looking, you know, talking about Garza and this and that and McCaffrey. The bottom line is, now they got a free pass to the game, and Coach said, I don't, I don't want to win like that. Uh-huh. You know, VCU with the COVID. But the bottom line is they're in the Sweet 16. Well, that's who Oregon is. I mean, and when everybody talks about Oregon, it's who has the best players in the pack. And it's Oregon. They got high school Americans at every position. They brought a, they brought a kid in from Rutgers who was a Rutgers center. Uh, Oregon is truly super talented. I don't know what's going to happen, but they're in a, they're, this is not a surprise. They get to the Sweet 16 every year. This is, this is a really talented team. Oregon can do some serious damage. And how about the Pac-12 Pac, uh, 12 12. itself? No, no losses yet. No. As we do this you show. Know, Nick Cronin, he's playing in a playoff, playing game. And I said to Al, I called him, I said, I saw something on television very disturbing. Because everybody had Michigan State. I said, 95% of the people at Michigan State. And I said, they didn't build those casinos with winnings. Yes, and I, and I, I laughed. Winnings. And I laughed because Michigan State was winning the game the whole game. And I'm thinking, man, they're right. Nope. At the bottom, the bottom line, you saw it can end up coming winning. But that Pac-12 was really playing great. We mentioned Oregon State. We've already mentioned Oregon. Look out, look out for those teams. Let's better, talk Southern Cal. They're better Cal. than we think you are. Let's talk Southern Cal. Oh, no, Southern Cal. is UCLA. Cal it's Colorado. Coach. We're great down the, the line. Southern Cal coach. His dad was the ninth grade coach when I was in uh, college at Shippensburg. And he came from Florida Gulf Coast. They were the first 15 to be. Yeah, make they were. And, mm-hmm. and here, here he is. He's got Southern Cal favored over Kansas. He got the number one pick in the draft. He got Mobley the number one pick in the draft. So if you have a number one pick in the draft, you have a chance to beat some teams. No question. So give me a quick uh, thought if I said to you, uh, I'm going to go down to the rivers and put 20 bucks on someone. Would you try to beat Gonzaga at two and a half to one? Yeah, I would because okay. that's who I am. But, that, uh, yeah, but, I understand. And, I, and I've tried. To. I'm, I bet I, I bet Houston a long time ago. I thought they played differently than everybody else in the country. They almost got knocked out already. But, 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 but there's a game like that. Even Kansas, when they won it all, there's a Vanderbilt. Or there's a game where gotcha. you sneak by. Yeah, they're, that that, might be they're, they're a different team. Okay. They, they play different than anybody else because, like you said, yeah. if that ball goes up, they're going after it. Right. Well, thanks again for watching Bottom Line Sports Talk. See you next week.